hey, hey. Thank you. Hey, can you guys hear me? And is the is the um service okay? Because I am outside right now. I thought it'd be good lighting, but I'm not sure if the Wi-Fi is any good. So I just got this in the mail, which is awesome because I I I ordered them the very day that they released. Cool. Black venti. Um, red eye iced coffee for me today. Thanks! These are my favorite glasses. I've been up since this makeup on since 8 o'clock. Oh, well, earlier than that, I had an 8 o'clock bri this morning, so woof. <sighs> I can't get the goddamn box open. Alright. Oh, I like, I like the, the packaging. The tissue paper's got like little crosses. I like nice and funny. I don't know what that means. Um, little crosses on the tissue paper. That tissue paper I will be keeping. Cryptic Cosmetics Beauty for the Obscure. So I just went ahead and bought all of these shades um, without even seeing any swatches of them because pretty much I trust Depeche Girl. She is like the queen of lipsticks. So. Um, she's not going to lead us astray. I'm, I'm, I have very, very, very high expectations for this. Yeah, I know. I love the tissue paper. So I got all of the shades. <clears throat> um, I don't really, I don't know. I just, I save my money. I, wo I work six days a week, so that's how I can afford to buy stupid amounts of lipstick. It's ridiculous. I don't do it that often though. Maybe I do. I don't know. <laughs> um, so I got Essex Creep Show, Tortured Soul, Gore Couture, and Bat Walk. Exactly. That's why I've got bags under my eyes because I work too much. All right, so first one I'm gonna swatch is Essex. Oh, okay. This looks like peachy. This might be the most boring one out of the collection. We'll see. I liked all of them though. It kind of looks like it's been open though. Weird. Whatever. Whatever. Oh, I really like this applicator. Nice. So Depeche Girl, like pretty much is the hello, is the um that looks way nicer on than it does in the tube. I think because of that frosted kind of makes it look lighter. Um, I am definitely going to swatch Batwalk. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, she is like the queen of liquid lipstick, so she got that shit down. Like that applicator, look at that. That's like perfect. Perfect. It's got a nice little point on it. It's flat as well, and it's also got that like little in-between bit. See how there's like a lot of product on that in-between bit? So it can... <laughs> Chelsea, where, where are you from? Where do you live? For some reason, I always thought you're Australian. I will put it on. I don't know if I want to put this one on though. Oh, Florida. That's weird that I thought you're Australian. Um. Oh yeah, they do smell good. I don't have a mirror out here, so I'm gonna use this as an mirror. I'm gonna just do the bottom. Save something else for the top. Oh, they're so pretty. This kind of looks similar to the shade that I had on earlier, which is still there a little bit. Oops. Um, Chicago, that's so close to me. I'm gonna be at the makeup show in Chicago. Oh, you're in Chicago as well? Um, make sure you, you come to the makeup show. So that is Essex. It is way prettier than in the tube, right? I think it's because Herman! The tissue paper just flew off and he's barking at it. Herman, it's just tissue paper, you crazy, crazy kid. All right, so this one is Tortured Soul. Herman, stop it. Yes, I will be, I will be working. <laughs> I will be working at the, um, oh, Hermie's so cute. I'll be working at, hey, no. 
I'll be working at the Kat Von D uh, booth. I usually do wear my glasses the second day of a trade show because I can't be bothered putting my makeup on. So that's tortured soul. Um, I know, love it. He's like looking at the tissue paper, skipping back afraid. Herman, come here you creep. The dates for um, Chicago are the, pretty sure the 12th and 13th of November. This one is Creep Show, which is gonna be your traditional kind of grazy shade, I think. Grazy, grungy brown. Oh, guys, stop it. Seriously, Herman, you kill me. So that one is Creep Show. Little freak. Oh no. How lucky you're going to France. That's awesome. I'd rather be in France than Chicago. Um, so next one I'm going to swatch is Gore Couture. I just got my, my roots dyed and my hair is like dried naturally in the air so it looks fluffy fuzzy. So this one is Gore Couture. Hey, thanks for sharing, dude. Pretty pinky color. I'm pretty sure Depeche Girl just made a bunch of shades that she would want to wear, which is cool. I like that because I like her styles. <laughs> I don't know. I have, I have like all these randoms that I keep getting ads on Periscope and I'm like, how the hell do people even know I have Periscope? I don't really, I guess I don't really tell anyone I have Periscope, but I always, when I get um, something new, like usually lipstick collections and stuff in, I always usually try to jump on periscope and swatch them so this one bat walk this is the one that i was like meh should i get it i feel like i have a million other shades that look like this actually i'm gonna wear this one tomorrow because i'm going to a wedding tomorrow and even though it's a summer outdoors wedding ftw i feel like yeah it depends how tanned you are i feel like this would show up on not so much as nudes on a lot of people. This kind of looks like, it kind of reminds me of a lighter version of Kat Von D's Vampira. So that's all three, just getting five of the Cryptic Cosmetics. Which one should I swatch on my top lip? Uh, Tortured Soul, I think I like that one the best. Okay, let's do Batwalk. Oh, it's so dark. Let's see if I can do it back to front in the selfie mirror. Ah. I'll have this on replay as well, so. It might be freezing because my Wi Fi is poo out here. Sorry, guys. Back walk. Definitely not a perfect application because it's like back to front, but I like it. I really like the formula. It goes on super opaque um, without having to layer a ton of them. I, all of my lighting, if you go to my YouTube videos, I have the lighting that I use all listed on the bottom description. Thanks. Um, well, the bottom one's completely dry. The top one, not dry yet. Probably say, hmm, I feel like they kind of feel like a similar form formula to, um, to, what's gonna call it, Ofra. Like they have that light kind of moussey feeling almost, but at the same time they don't feel like any other liquid lipstick that I've ever had before. Not that there's like a huge comparison between any of them, but they feel nice and lightweight. Yes, but that one's not dry, oops. I don't think that they would transfer when they're dry because I just touched that bottom lip. 
and I don't know what my fave formula is. I'd probably say Ofra. If this one ends up being amazing, then it's probably going to be this one. Who knows? Ofra is great though because they have so many different colours. Um, I really like Kat Von D as well. Some of her colours are hit and miss though. Um, like Echo is not very, it's kind of patchy. Um, but the rest of the lighter ones are really good. Oh, uh, what else? I really like the Too Faced Melted ones as well. This one? Oh, uh, it'd be pretty similar. I think this is more like Ofra. Ooh, four plus hours. Yeah, the bottom one, before I smushed my lips together, when I touched it, it didn't even come off of my finger at all. I also got these goodies in the mail. Uh, new OCC glitters. So there's like, um, which you, they usually bring out a lip for fall, but they bought out uh, matching glitters with their new fall collection. So I'm really interested in this one. It's called Olive and it's like super, super fine. I love glitter, but look at this one. I don't know if you can see it. It's like, it's like pink. It's like white with like a pinky orange reflex to it. I'm so excited for that. And then this one, it's like yellow with different reflex glitters. I haven't got many lit cosmetics yet. And this one, oh, can't wait to do like a full orangey crack eye. Why, but why do you need tons of glitter? They last forever. I think that's a fair amount. I don't know. I never go through full things of pigments or glitters, so I never um, never really concentrate on that. But uh, Star Crush Minerals are really good if you want like super, super cheap glitters. I always get tons of pigments and stuff from them as well. So yeah, um, I am gonna stop Impulse Cosmetics Glitter. The fundraising's going really well, um, where it's it keeps going in like peaks and like lulls, but um, it's been pretty good the last few days because thankfully people have been sharing it. Thank you, Chelsea, saw that. Oh, thank you, awesome. I haven't checked my emails today, so I haven't really seen anything. I think it's at 11.5 right now, which is awesome. So still a long way to go to 100,000, but miracles can happen we never know what will happen so but so far less than one percent of my followers have donated so that's a little bit ah, concerning but you know lots of the people that have donated have donated like over and above so um it's awesome but yeah so that was the cryptic cosmetics pretty much all of my favorite style of colors it's one last look at the swatches they're all you know kind of similar but you totally need them all i think anyways i would have to say that that one go go couture oh no that was tortured soul that's my fave they're so good oh i know my lips look like shit right now so anyways i have to go and wash this face off and go to the gym because ugh, last thing that I want to do right now but that's what coffee is for thanks for tuning in guys um I'll try and do some more periscopes now and again um so yeah thank you see you guys bye bye permanent stop it oh my gosh <laughs>